human life is said to endeavor for the fulfillment of four goals of life dharma which is righteousness artha which is wealth or worldly comforts kama which is desire i mean fulfillment and the last part is moksha which is called liberation tiruvalluva who is the greatest tamil poet and philosopher deals with the first three goals of human life and explains them in his great work called tirukkural he did not deal with the last part called liberation section because if any man follows the instruction given by this sage poet properly without a flaw he will surely attain liberation without any such efforts so the entire text contains 1330 verses in total made up of 133 smaller sections of 10 verses each so without any further delay let's get started so we're going to see a verse from the section called anburamai the wealth of love so the tamil kural is anbirkum undo adaikum thaal aarvalar punkanir poosal tharum and the english translation of this verse is does love have any locking bolt it will be revealed in the tiny drop of tear that forms when the loved one is in distress so the meaning is whenever your heart melts in the presence of someone it may be a plant an animal mother wife child nature or even god it is referred by the term love if the human had not evolved to love his fellow beings he would be still in the level of animals no not even that since even animals sometimes are kind to other animals he will be worse than an animal so tears and smiles are the sole properties of a human that mark him out as an evolved species but love makes him equal a divinity how much you can love and whom all you can love love has no lid to block it it does not flow toward just a single person also it is like the overflowing floods of river ganges covering the entire landscape thus sanctifying everything in it it is like the love of god which knows no distinction love is always there in the heart and ready to explode at any moment so love has made the famous king called bali offer his own flesh in exchange to save a pigeon from a vulture's mouth and the same love has made king pari offer his golden chariot to a jasmine creeper which had no supporting tree to entwine around and love made siddhartha r gautama buddha to care for a swan hurt by an arrow and love made jesus christ get stuck to a cross why because these people they could not bear the suffering of any living thing be it a plant or a bird or human a hurt in anyone's body or mind immediately brought moisture in their eyes and love overflowed breaking their restraint that they offered anything they had to alleviate the pain of the other living being so what i actually feel is if there is love within us then there won't be any space for fights egos arguments doubts anger and we cannot find any differences among people there won't be any space for uh, like uh, um, racism uh, rich poor so nothing will stop us and love has no limits at all it will overflow at any level 